I'd like to present myself. I'm Norman Carollo of uh, Wood Skills, and over the uh, next uh, three days, November 6th through 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be presenting uh, two, a series of two different sessions. One is on uh, starting your own woodworking business, which is based on my uh, a book I've written in the last uh, two or three years. Uh, so I'll be presenting uh, different modules and uh, describing the steps involved in creating your own small woodworking business and migrating from, uh, from a hobby to a part-time business to a full-time business. And something I'm sure every woodworker uh, at some point uh, considers in their path to uh, woodworking. The second set of uh, sessions will be uh, revolving around Kamiko. Kamiko is a traditional form of Japanese uh, joinery. It's primarily decorative and used in, uh, in cabinet doors, as you can see here. Uh, show you screens and uh, wall panels separating the uh, rooms. This is this is a, uh, one one uh, one pattern, the Asa Noha pattern, and I've, I've incorporated this Kamiko uh, panel within a cabinet door, and this is the actual cabinet door. So I'll be discussing how to create the uh, the small components using uh, a set of guide blocks, which you need to create to be able to do this, and uh, I'll also be discussing a, a thicknessing sled that actually uh, I use uh, to narrow the, uh, the thickness of uh, small uh, basswood strips to be able to use within uh, to form the Kamiko. So the Kamiko is composed of uh, small components at different angles which are uh, placed together and, and they form different patterns and the most popular pattern is the Asanoa pattern and this is the one I'll be, uh, I'll be discussing and demonstrating. So uh, again, two, two sets of sessions over three days, November 6th through 8th, and I hope to uh, enlighten you on both Kamiko and starting your own woodworking business. So I uh, hope to see you then and uh, looking forward to it. Coming up is a, uh, a short uh, uh, a background of, of, of my woodworking experience over the uh, past two plus decades, and uh, I'll uh, show you the, uh, my accomplishments and what I've, what I've done over two decades, and I'll talk about how I, uh, I formed my, uh, my small woodworking companies, a series of them. Ultimately, uh, my final company or two is uh, Perola Design and Wood Skills. Wood Skills is the educational arm of, uh, of what I do. So I create uh, course material for woodworking in the form of classes, uh, tutorials, uh, courses, and plans. And uh, whereas Perola Design is primarily focused on commission and unique one-of-a-kind furniture pieces, so I hope to uh, enlighten you coming up in this next segment and uh, hope to see you uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, November 6th through 8th. Thank you. Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Norman Perello and I've been woodworking for over 20 years. My work has been published in books and magazines over the years, including Fine Woodworking Magazine and Woodwork Magazine, as well as smaller publications, as you can see here. As well, I've been profiled and have my work published in a series of books that you can see here. A little bit about my background. I began woodworking as a hobby and slowly uh, migrated to box making, and I can explain why. My original woodworking shop was uh, very small, and uh, because of this, I was severely constrained by the size of uh, woodworking objects I could create, so box making was ideal. Uh, through box making, I, um, I perfected my joinery skills and my finishing techniques, and I slowly began to market my, uh, my boxes, which consisted of jewelry boxes and cigar humidors. I was fairly successful over a period of time in marketing these, uh, these boxes, and I was selling them internationally through my e-commerce site at the time, which was White Mountain Design. But eventually, after a number of years, I began to tire of box making, and my original dream was to make furniture. So I slowly began to study towards furniture making, and uh, in doing so, I, I followed a cabinet making program at a local college. I was successful in completing the program, and this opened my eyes to furniture making. At the same time, I began to read up on uh, James Cranoff's style of uh, philosophy of work, and this is one of the uh, this is one of the books which was instrumental in my uh, decision to uh, to slow down my woodworking, slow down the pace of my woodworking, and use more hand tools more so than power tools. It was a quieter form of woodworking, less dust generated, 
and uh, more peaceful, and I would focus on uh, grain orientation and the, the quality of the wood used and graphics of the wood used, as opposed to using simply using wood as a medium f to create the final object. So, so at the same time, my small uh, furniture making school was uh, open in the area, and this school was uh, was based on the agenda and curriculum of the College of the Redwoods, which coincidentally was developed by James Krenoff. So I began to investigate the school and uh, look at the uh, curriculum they off offered and the courses and classes they offered, and eventually followed a series of uh, classes and completed them successfully. In doing so, this opened my eyes to a new, quieter form of woodworking with greater attention to detail, wood graphics, and grain orientation. And I began to follow the James Krenoff furniture making philosophy in the process. So I slowly modified my woodworking to perform tasks using hand tools instead of power tools. And I began designing my own furniture using sketches, drawings, and mock-ups. I thoroughly enjoyed the design process. And I began to show my work at design fairs. The positive feedback I acquired at the time was critical to moving forward with my furniture designs. So recently I've uh, written and published two woodworking related books. The first book is the uh, From High Tech to Low Tech, which chronicles my journey from uh, from my former high tech career into woodworking as I'm doing it full time now as a furniture maker. And the second book is How to Start Your Own Woodworking Business, which follows my 20 year period of uh, creating and developing furniture making and woodworking related businesses. Uh, for example, White Mountain Design, Refined Edge Design, Wood Skills, and uh, most recently, Parolo Design. Today, I design and build furniture using both power tools and hand tools. Power tools are used to prepare the wood, whereas hand planes, shooting boards, chisels, and scrapers are used in the latter stages of my furniture making. I've also developed uh, two woodworking courses uh, over the years. The first course was a woodworking course, which is targeted towards novice through intermediate woodworkers, and it's been updated a couple of times over the years. So it's fairly comprehensive and a good course to begin woodworking, to learn the fundamentals. And this is a more recent course on starting your own woodworking business. They're both available on, uh, on the DVD and downloadable online through my website. As well, most recently, I've also developed and designed and created a series of uh, hand tools this is a, an example. This is a, a measuring gauge, a small beading tool, a depth gauge, and a, another beading tool on a different wood maple. As well, I have a, a traditional uh, square. So thank you for watching.